All right, our question for today is, what is a manu? Ileana, what is a manu? Mm, a bird? Mm, a bird, that's right. How many of you see birds outside your house right now? Ileana, do you see any birds outside right now? Yeah, look over there. There's yeah, some birds outside. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. But if you don't have birds, how are we going to make sure that we will be able to see some birds today if we're talking about birds? We need something to help us to find these birds and look out for these birds. So we are going to be bird watching. Now that we have our food out there, it's hopefully gonna attract some birds. We're gonna make a tool that we can use to help us bird watch. So some materials that you'll need for our next activity are some toilet paper rolls because we are going to be making a binocular or if you don't have toilet paper rolls and you have a paper towel roll you can either cut that in half or you can use it as a periscope <laughs> periscope for one or a telescope um, so we're gonna be making that today you're also gonna need some markers or writing utensils anything that you have at home that you can use to create some stickers um, maybe some ribbon if you want to use it to hold it around your neck, you know, for the cakey, so it's easy to um, find. And also some tape, so that way we can fasten it together. Some scissors and some hole punchers to be used um, with adult supervision, of course. And you know, basically anything that you have at home to decorate your binocular or your telescope. So, Ileana is gonna get started. What do you wanna do? Do you wanna do a binocular or a telescope? Okay, so I'm gonna be decorating some binoculars and using some of the materials that I have here. And then when we're done, I'll show you how we assemble them. All right, guys, we're back. We're done decorating our binoculars and our telescope. So I just used some markers to decorate mine. And I used a piece of tape to fasten it together. And then my hole puncher to punch holes in my both sides of the binocular and put a ribbon on it so I can have it around my neck. Ileana, how did you? Decorate your telescope. I'm putting my name and put on stickers and draw a telescope and a hands and eyes and then on the other side I just do more things and then the other side I do two feet heart and cool water. <laughs> All right, and she also put a ribbon around hers so that way she can have it there so when it's um, time to go watch some birds we have it we, our hands are free and you know it really is all about the process and not the product you know the end result we just want our cake to have fun during this time and be creative alongside them and just let them know and encourage them that whatever they create is beautiful in our eyes um, and so right now now that we are done with this my binocular um, some hua olalo for you is pa'a ohe na na so this is a pa'a ohe na na and Ileana's telescope is a ohe na na so those are some words that you can use with them that means binoculars or telescope in Hawaiian and we're gonna just go take this and see if we can find some birds we want to use some Hawaiian vocabulary or hua olelo to talk about the different body parts of the bird in Hawaiian. So we have the nuku, which is the beak, eheu, which is the wing, maiuu, which is the claws, hulu, which is the feather, pua pua, which are the tail feathers, and leo, which is voice. Um, so using these Hawaiian words to label the different body parts of the bird as Kiki are watching them and at the same time talk about the uses for each body part as well. So I hope you guys had fun today um, learning a little bit more about the bird, um, listening to that story that Kumu Chelsea read about the Manu and we just hope you guys had a really fun time. I want to leave you with an Olalo no Eao which is Ho'ola'ina manu ike ahe ahe the birds pose quietly in the gentle breeze and this is said of those who are you know at peace with the world and undisturbed and contented and I think right now it's a good olalo no eao or a good passage for us to remember and live by and as we watch the birds and kilo what we see the birds doing you know just know that 
we can still be at peace amidst everything that is going on in the world today. And so we just want to extend our big aloha to all of you from Hawaii Island. And we hope you are healthy, well, and God bless always. 